Welcome back everyone. The Dickinson Avenue revitalization continues to move forward with the announcement of even more businesses. WNCT's Josh Birch reports on what you can expect to see. It's a familiar sound here on Dickinson Avenue as construction is booming with more businesses set to open up. I see it as a, a real happening place. Elizabeth Wooten purchased and invested in several buildings here a year ago, seeing the potential of what it could be. We share the city's vision for it to become an arts and innovation district. Uptown Greenville announced today Jack Brown's beer and burger joint will open their first North Carolina location in Greenville utilizing one of Wooten's buildings. They like to go to mid-sized cities where a lot's happening. But Uptown Greenville director Bianca Shoneman hopes even more can happen here. Antique Mall and the soon-to-come Farmers and Makers Market provide interest an interesting mix to the retail clustering down there, but we'd like to expand those offerings. Later this month, both Luna Pizza and Smash Waffles are expected to officially open their doors to the public. We wanted it to be a place that had a similar vibe for us. Smash Waffle co-owner Hunter Harrison says they purposely chose Dickinson because of what it offers. When you look for locations, you can either see reality of where they are or the potential of what they could be. And so when we walk down here, we're like, man, this is, this could be us. And as more people come to that same realization, the vision of Dickinson Avenue is now coming more into focus. In Greenville, Josh Birch, 9 in your side. Now, Uptown Greenville officials told us they're almost ready to make another big announcement on a business opening along Dickinson. Since 2012, more than $600 million has been invested in Uptown Greenville.